trophy, but I'm not sure I can take it down alone. You feel like lending me a hand? You know the captain's looking for you? Fuck the captain. Oh, come on. He can wait. The beastie out there can't. It could lose itself in the mist at any moment, and we'd never find it. Okay, then. Considering how excited you are, I'm kind of curious to see the thing. Come on, let's go. Ah, yes! I owe you one. Come on! your help. I'll get back to my patrol. Tell the captain not to worry about me.
you didn't give me away to the steward. Why? I'd rather not have the news that a potentially dangerous sorceress was set free, spread throughout the village too quickly. And you can keep me nearby without having to stop the villagers from burning me at the stake. It's a bit wicked, but I am almost disappointed. It could have been an amusing situation. Can we win this war? You already know the answer. What was the last battle the Dead Walker army lost? I... I never heard of them losing a battle. In fact, the last time was 12 years ago. In those days, Vertiol didn't even know the Lords of the Frozen Shadows existed, or that they were at war. This all took place in a kingdom in the Northeast. I don't recall the name, but their victory was destined to be short-lived. A few days after having stopped the Deadwalker army, the kingdom was razed to the ground by an even greater offensive. But then, it is possible to win a battle? You haven't understood. Whatever the result of a battle, the Deadwalker army feeds. Whether they win or lose, they always prevail. All the bodies that fall are eventually integrated into their ranks. It's a war of attrition. If it were only military victory they sought, yes. But don't forget, they are crafty and intelligent. They can defeat you long before you are overwhelmed by a ruse or by magic. Hey, cut the shit. Give me the bad news. So, this demon inside me, what is it? I can't say for sure. I've only rarely ever seen something so interesting. But all the same, I am certain of one thing. Your host is directly linked to the World Heart. To the World Heart? It's a simple question of logic. The ritual performed by the scribes had to make contact with the World Heart somehow. Your affinity for flames is a crucial clue. Okay, but what's my role in all this? For now, you are the vehicle. You'll have to decide if you're going to use its power, or just be a simple vessel.
in this cavern, rest assured of that. The being that lives here wishes to take over this body. Huh? You mean my body? A pity that thou art not as combative with it. It is consuming thy mind even now, and yet thou dost offer no resistance. If thou dost allow it to continue, thou wilt be erased, replaced, and that is not in my best interest either. Now that's ironic. Isn't that what you're doing to me? An insulting comparison. This parasite is nothing. It is insignificant. I can protect us if thou dost allow it. Thou shouldst give me more space, more liberty. Open thy mind instead of keeping me prisoner. Yeah, we'll see. You're asking me to let you come in and mark out your territory. But at what price? Thou wilt gain access to a greater part of me. To my knowledge. To my power. All that thou risketh is to gain in knowledge and power, and that can do thee no harm. We shall only be stronger, both of us. Well, let's see. Everything is rosy and without a care. I imagine that thou wouldst undergo a slight physical transformation. Thy body was not conceived to contain a power such as mine. It will consume thee if thou refuseth to evolve. There we go. Admit it. You feel better. Whatever thou risketh in trusting me is insignificant in comparison with what awaits us if thou dost stay and do nothing. If thou dost refuse to evolve, we will both soon be lost, and this world will follow. All right, all right. Between the non-stop screaming and all your moaning, my head is going to explode anyway. So go ahead and do it. Wise decision. Thou wilt not regret it. Now, thou must empty out all of thy thoughts. Allow me to move. Yes. At last. I can move. Breathe. Think freely. Thou mayest continue. If anything tries to control thy mind, I will make certain they understand who is in command. Damn. This place is giving me the shivers. At least there's nobody here to give a shit if I crap my pants. If thou art incapable of controlling thy body, thou mayest as well let me do it. Don't push me. Beware of those creatures. They are powerful and probably the most vicious in all the Deadwalker army.
but you must have figured that out, right? So you just have to deliver. You're gonna have to do this fashion. Ice Lords have never messed with a Powder Master, now have they? If you listen to the rabble who actually live in the swamps, we should head back to the village now. If he was right, and a general is directing the attack, only your power could stop them. 
Have you decided what you're going to do with me? I'm working on it. Meanwhile, I remain a prisoner. You're free to do what you want as long as you stay in the village or with me. But if you cross the line, I'm the one who'll straighten you out. So, one false move and I blow you up. And that can be painful. Are we clear? Yes, very clear. And perfect timing as well. It just so happens that I have absolutely no intention of disturbing this delicious village in any way. A place whose tragic end now seems ordained, and over whose corpse the red scribes and freeborn blades will scrabble in the bleeding mud. A spectacle which promises to be unique, and one I would dream of missing for the world. Well, enjoy the show. But if I ever need your help, I want to be able to count on it. Hmm, very well. You may consider that we have an arrangement. Aeolus called you a sorceress. Well, are you one? A sorceress? Only a rube or an imbecile would call someone a sorceress. If Aeolus had even a minimum of intelligence and discernment, he would have chosen another term. I do a bit of magic, it's true, but that makes me a magician. Nonetheless, my abilities could never rival those of a Lord of the Frozen Shadows, even if I am far more powerful than any Red Scribe will ever be. Thanks. I know this place. The village is not far away. To the right, 